Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. That is Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can all see Josh's work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sportsmap HOU. Hey Josh, this week Michael Schwab tweeted, two names that are at the top of the Astros trade deadline wish list are pitcher Shane Bieber and outfielder DH Jorge Soler. Per people familiar with the process. You want those guys? I'd be way more interested in Solaire yeah, personally. Too. I went and did a deep dive into the stats there with Bieber, and man, his velocity's down over the last couple of years. His his strikeouts are way down. He was about nine per game a couple of years ago. Now he's down to six. His hits per nine innings, he's basically given up a hit every single inning now. His hard per, hard hit percentage is way up. So it looks like he's trending down. So and you're gonna have to give up a lot for him. So I'm kind of out on Bieber, and he'd be your softest tossing pitcher on the staff. He's only he averages around 91 velo. Even Belak throws harder than him. Yeah, no, I'm with you on this one. Listen, when Soler was out there, I was like, hey, that's a guy you should be looking at anyway, right? Yep. Now, where does he fit into a lineup where Dubon, you can't take Dubon off the field? I, I, I'm, I'm okay with Corey Jokes when he starts, Chaz when he starts. I'm okay. I want Yiner to get more at bats, even if it's at DH. You got to play Jordan in the outfield. Jake has been red hot. I don't, I don't, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I don't think you need a starter and pitcher, and I really don't think you need a bat right now. I don't either. And then there's the whole thing. It, how much is Dusty going to play this guy if they actually trade for him? Like, who knows? It, it, it's unbelievable that we just can't really predict that. The only knock on Solaire, he's only played 100 games three times three seasons out of his entire career he got knocked out with some back spasms last year in late July and he never returned so you worry a little bit about the health with him but yeah you're right with health and how often can they use him you worry about you worry about that and if Brantley comes back you and you know Dusty listen I, we heard Dana Brown the other day talking about Yonder Diaz and, and wonderfully, which I was like, yay, thank you. Dan, somebody in the organization realizes this. And we've got a precedent right now, okay? Click, got rid of Miles Straw because Dusty yep. had, was starting him every day. If he's got to get rid of, dare I say it, does he have to get rid of Machete <laughs> so that we can actually see Yonder Diaz in the lineup? It's crazy to think that because I don't see there's any way they're trading Maldi. I, I couldn't believe it, but there's something to it. With the click thing, they had disagreements about playing time. And, you know, Vasquez, we hardly saw that guy. You know, they traded for him and they didn't use yeah. him that much. It, it, so you wonder if I don't think they'll do something like that, but I will tell you this whatever they do, I think Jim Crane should listen a little more to Dana Brown because what's happened with Dusty and the Bagwell, all those moves have not worked out. And Dusty's on a year to year contract. Dana Brown has a long term deal. I think Crane needs to look at, at the deals that got done without Dana Brown and look at how long he's under contract and listen to his GM. Yeah, oh no, absolutely. And we're also hearing. It, Verlander wants Machete there next year. Mm. We can maybe facilitate it quicker for you. We can maybe maybe do. I know. Ma, listen, Maldonado is beloved in that locker room. Everybody to a man. He's a great, great guy. No question about it. The whole thing is about hitting, right here. Yeah. He just can't hit, and now there's no argument about this. He just can't hit, and at times he's hurting your club. And for a club that goes as arid as desert as this team does sometimes offensively you've got to have a guy in the lineup like Yiner Diaz that can actually give you a spark so maybe he's got to be traded the Mets might be a perfect spot get it done Dana Brown <laughs> <laughs>